we're going to be talking about cybersecurity today and the challenges that it brings to the oil and gas industry. Uh, before I proceed, I would like to introduce uh, my fellow colleague here, Jeff Cornelius uh, from Dark Trace. Um, you can anticipate, I mean, we're really excited. Just yesterday morning, uh, Siemens and Dark Trace announced a strategic partnership uh, to work together in the oil and gas industry and bring analytics uh, to address security challenges that are there today. Uh, so as part of this presentation, we'll cover that as well, and Jeff will give you a short demo of Dark Trace. So to start off, there will be three main points that we'll be talking about today. Firstly, uh, digitalization, the state of digitalization, as well as the state of security in the industry today. Then we'll look at the holistic approach for cybersecurity, as well as what steps that you can take and how analytics helps you address those security challenges. So as you can see over here, digitalization is definitely bring, can bring a lot of benefits to the industry. Although the rate of acceptance in the industry is not as fast as say telecom, automotive, or electronics, but you see the benefits can bring direct impact to your bottom line as well as saving on your OPEX. These are significant numbers in current times. We have moved on in the oil and gas industry by deploying a lot of digital uh, solutions, right? Whereas to reduce our overall operation, bring in remote maintenance, it's a very fast spread field, right? All the way to the downhole as well as on the top side. But at the same time, security has not been paid that much of attention, right? We haven't deployed security. We haven't looked at security as a major concern when we deploy all of this uh, digital solutions in the oil field. Siemens uh, did a study uh, with the Poneman Institute and we did, uh, you know, reached out to all the oil and gas players here uh, in the market and we found out some specific threats that, you know, they're, they're high concern for the executives today. If you look at the numbers, 67 of them believe that there is a significant risk uh, for the OT environment in the oil and gas industry. Ladies and gentlemen, let's be sure, right, there's a 100% chance that the ICS environment will be hacked at some point, and we cannot forget this point. Furthermore, a lot of them feel, a lot of the companies feel today, there is a significant risk when you move and you migrate your IT and your OT environment together. Right? This brings significant challenges because you don't have the right people to look at both of these environments from a security perspective. Right? You might have people who are really good in IT, you might have people who are really good at OT who really you know, want to make sure their operations are not impacted, but when you merge them together, who takes care of the security aspect of that? So further along in that uh, unique uh, study that we did with Poneman Institute, we found out that 63% of all respondents agreed that analytics can actually bridge that gap, right? By bringing in the unique knowledge that is not available in the industry, right? The analytics, artificial intelligence can help bridge the gap while only 20% are using analytics to bridge their cybersecurity challenge today. Jeff will take you over and show you a little bit about Darktrace now. Yeah, so Darktrace, the, the premise is actually quite simple. Um, we take a full mathematics and machine learning approach to understanding every communication, every communication in an enterprise, whether that be on the IT side of the house between computers and printers and servers, et cetera, or on the OT side of the house between PLCs, SCADA devices, DCSs, et cetera. The idea is if we can model every communication and understand what that behavior looks like, we can form an understanding, a pattern of life to what that communication looks like. That pattern of life then can very, very quickly tell us what's abnormal or anomalous in that communication stream. Now machine learning in and of itself, everyone in this room will probably hear the term machine learning 5,000 times today, right? Or you'll hear artificial intelligence. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about machine learning and what's really difficult and challenging about machine learning that you need to make sure you get right. The reality is machine learning is difficult. It's very, very difficult. Although we can download, download machine learning packs from Google and Amazon and Azure and, and uh, all the other technologies in the world today, it's very difficult to leverage machine learning correctly. Machine learning must be done in an unsupervised fashion. If it's supervised, it's nothing more than a signature or rule-based deliverable with really fast computing on the back end. It has to be unsupervised. It has to be signatureless and ruleless. You can't impose rules and signatures on machine learning. Otherwise, you're hamstringing or crippling it, and that doesn't work. So what you have to have is a fully naive, unsupervised machine learning deliverable that, go, that can see every communication in an environment and model that environment for normal behavior patterns. Just like any one of you in this audience, if I took you and we sat down for an hour and we talked, we'd learn a great deal about each other. If we talked for two hours, we'd learn more. 
a day, we'd learn more. That's exactly what machine learning's right. I know nothing about any of you, but if I sat down with you, we'd learn a great deal over a short period of time. That's pure, unsupervised machine learning. Rule-less and signature-less, and that's very, very important. The challenge is that with machine learning, most companies take a very, very targeted approach to it. Darktrace, on the other hand, has taken a very broad approach. We sit back and we go, we want to see every communication. What will it take for us to see every communication? Well, we have to span a whole bunch of segments, right? Or a whole bunch of subnets. Well, we span all those, we see all this comm, now we form an uber knowledge, and that's really what we do. The key is leveraging a, an analogy that we use called the industrial immune system. We use the immune system approach. Your skin is a really good protector for most things that affect you in the world, right? Whether it's a cut or a bump against a wall or something, you protect it from virus or bacteria. Well, if it does get in, what happens? Your immune system kicks in and it begins to protect you from those challenges as well. We have the same analogy. If we can see every communication in the network, we now have the ability to understand what normal behavior is, what my normal immune system looks like, and determine abnormal or anomalous behaviors inside that environment. I mentioned machine learning is hard to get right. Most companies take the approach of looking only at the IT environment. There are a few companies that take the approach of only looking at the OT environment and looking down at the PLC level at the PLC level comms. All fine and dandy and very valuable deliverables. But until you can bridge both the IT and the OT environment, you really don't have a leg to stand on because that's really where the compromise resides. If you have a compromise in an OT environment, the likelihood is very, very high that the threat trajectory is into IT and vice versa. If you have an IT threat, the probability is very high that the ultimate goal is OT. So you want to be able to model both environments so that you understand what that threat landscape looks like for both environments. And there's no technology in the world except Darktrace that can do that. To date, we've uncovered about 65,000 unique threats in our customer base. 65,000 threats that would have gone uncaught and damaging to our customer base. Think about that for a second. For a four-year-old company, 65,000 threats caught. Now these are threats that are not seen by signature and rule-based deliverables. So no firewall, endpoint protection tool, antivirus, none of that content caught any of these anomalies. That's very, very important and quite impactful. Thank you, Jeff. So two things Jeff mentioned that I would want to bring your attention again. Why do you need machine intelligence? Right, why analytics helps. Number one, the threat landscape has changed. Jeff said that there's a lot of different types of threats today that can, you know, they can threat your operations. Right? The complexity of these threats have changed. And number two, the skilled personnel that are required to detect, to deter these threats today are also not available. That's where machine learning and analytics can really help you bridge that gap. Now, when we look at how you can move on from from you know, whichever operating point you are today. It can be a low cyber mature organization which can start at the very basic of just having firewalls and endpoint hardening, all the way up to having security analytics to manage intrusion detection. These are the steps that you need to take in order to evolve your organization right, to having a cyber security policy that can help you and gain benefit from the digitalization that you're doing today. And that's where Siemens and Mines uh, and uh, Dark trace come together to help you bridge that gap. Now Jeff will go into showing you a brief demo of how that solution works. So really simply, this is the UI we provide for all of our customers. Um, this UI is very straightforward. We designed it purposely to get you to actionable intelligence in four clicks. Now, all the intelligence before the fourth click is also important, but it's the fourth click that's the home run. It gets you to the threat, what the threat was, and then playback of that threat at any point in time in history. The most important thing is down here in the bottom. It's called the threat tray. The threat tray delivers immediately to your analyst or your SOC administrator the content that they need to know so that they can action deliverable immediately. That's very, very valuable. The UI is very, very specific. We have the ability to show you any number of segments or subnets in the network. I can dig down into that network and in real time, hello, come on, catch up. In real time, it's trying to catch up, there we go. In real time, I can show you the communications in that environment. I clicked play, 
this is real-time communication of devices in one of our customers, anonymized of course, not unlike other technologies companies and maybe West Coast that don't anonymize, fully anonymized and with their permission. This is real-time communication inside of their enterprise network. Now, that's very important. I'm showing you in real time what communications look like in that network. I can show you devices in that network, real time. How many of you here watching right now have the ability to see any particular device in your network at any time and its communication packet? No one raise your hand, please. Please don't. This is the only technology in the world I've seen, or Gartner, or Forrester, or any of the major analysts have seen that provide you real time data analytic. Now, all that said, this is really where the meat is down here. When I get access one of these alerts, these are the alerts that Darktrace has found that show you what's going on in the environment. Any anomaly that we find, any unique behavior, something that is behaving in a way that it shouldn't behave, will alert you to. I'm gonna bring this one up here, oh, not that one. This one here up for you and show you because it's very, very, it's a very powerful deliverable, 95% significance against a very small threshold of 35%. That's how we kind of score. I'm gonna bring that alert up for you. Now, this alert is very important because we've got outbound communication from the, from the environment. Typically, you don't see this in a PLC or an OT environment. This is outbound comms from an OT environment. What I'm gonna do for you is I wanna back this up one minute and I'm gonna bring up the device event log. Here's another piece you've never seen delivered in a UI, again, in four clicks. Full forensic event log and PCAPs. You can now do a full PCAP of every communication associated with this anomaly and export it to the authorities or to your SOC assist manager for triage. In real time, I simply click play. It takes me back one minute and you'll watch as the anomaly, the threat, the compromise plays through in real time. Now, this happens to have been on Saturday, April 29th at 5.22 in the morning. That's an odd time to have an outbound comm from a, from a DNS server. That's a very odd time in this environment. This is a global energy provider. But we see the comms play back in, in real time and Darktrace begins to highlight the antecedents that make the threshold trick. Those antecedents are unusual activity, external data transfer, not supposed to happen against this DNS server. So we're alerting to it as we're playing it back in real time still. Yes, we're still, still clocking through up here. And then you'll see the alert breach over here. This alert will breach against the model. Again, as it plays through, it's uh, taking its merry time because it knows I'm doing a demo. There's the compromise. I'll push pause here. The compromise escalated from the 33% to the 95%, not just due to the volume of content, but also to the number of devices that connected to the outbound comm. We show you the highlight on the line here, the brighter line indicating outbound communications. I can actually pull the PCAP of the comm that was delivered. I can now show all the content that was delivered. But more importantly, the uniqueness or the anomaly this device never sends outbound communications. And then at this period of time, it's spiked up. How many of us in this audience right here can say, you can see every domain controller, every DNS server, every user's device, every PLC and its comms at any millisecond? None of us can. But using machine learning and artificial intelligence, we now have the ability to do so. Siemens, ingenuity for life.